What's up guys, this is Tomaj from TomajRC.com and today I'm gonna uh, show you uh, how to use the Flux Reload V2 Professional Program Box so how to set up uh, your ESC and uh, HPI uh, racing uh, RCs with this program box and also and uh, uh, I guess the uh, most important thing is that uh, I wanna update the uh, firmware through the uh, PC uh, to solve the problem, the uh, HPI bullet problem, uh, which is uh, uh, the moisture problem. So it cuts off. Uh, I guess you bullet owners know that that uh, maybe not only bullet uh, owners know that uh, sometimes uh, uh, the, uh, um, the battery, the voltage gets cut off uh, when you get a little bit of uh, water inside of the uh, uh, car and um, yeah the electronics just uh, cut off so and then you have no forward no reverse only a left and right steering works so uh, this update as I've uh, contacted our HPI uh, Poland this uh, upgrade should uh, solve this problem solve this issue I'll check it out I'll do the update and yeah, then uh, hopefully get it into some wet conditions and see if uh, it solve, really solves the problems. I've only had it once. I've uh, yeah, ran into uh, water, which is uh, actually on my, one of my uh, bashing videos. Um, back then it didn't stop, but uh, as I've uh, just, you know, uh, put it in, in, in my car and then uh, tried to run it again, I did have this issue. So I did have it once and my friends got this issue uh, while running in the snow. So uh, there is this issue and... Uh, Mm, yeah, we'll we'll see if it solves it. So it solves it. So uh, yeah, uh, check it out. First things first, we're not gonna uh, get the uh, get this uh, to the uh, um, computer. If you don't want to update the firmware, you don't have to do this. So uh, you just take the uh, mm, this uh, cable and you just plug it in here. You plug it in your ESC where normally uh, this thing is uh, is there you just take it out and plug it uh, plug this one in and that's and that's all and uh, yeah we are we are there you need to turn on your uh, your truck and uh, yeah right now we can see what kind of options uh, there are to be changed and uh, yeah let's uh, quickly uh, check it out so We've got the uh, okay connecting. You've got your uh, firmware. We've got your mode. So it was. We've seen that it was in off-road mode. And now here you can change uh, your running modes. Uh, I guess this uh, you know, this star means this is a, a factory setting. And here you can I guess uh, yeah here you can change it. So uh, forward and reverse, forward brake, uh, and uh, yeah this one uh, is uh, which are one stay with uh, you can save it with the save button and then you've got the drug brake voltage um, protection per cell uh, well actually this is uh, three volts I think I did set up to 3.4 so uh, yeah let's change it we wanna have uh, 3.4 now we've saved it and uh, let's uh, go further um, we've got start mode, the level five, out of out of nine. Uh, this one's fine. Um, brake force fifty percent. I did um, go from twenty five. Uh, no, I sorry, I left it. It was fifty percent from factory, so this one is okay for me. Reverse force. I did. It was twenty five percent. I did put it to 50%. Mm, forward force 100% from factory. Uh, ref um, reverse activation two times. It means uh, uh, first you've got the uh, when you put when you put the throttle on, and then uh, you brake. You need to uh, click two times to get the reverse. So you can choose between uh, two times and uh, three times. Yep, I'll leave it just uh, two times, so uh, you need to uh, 
you you won't put uh, accidentally the uh, uh, reverse actually but you won't have to do it uh, also too many times it's okay for me just, just a standard uh, setting so let's move on uh, timing I don't know what's what's that overheat protection and uh, yeah restore to default and that's it actually this is so simple um, very useful uh, device to make some setups but you do get some um, some more features when you uh, plug it into your PC so we'll uh, do it shortly and I'll show you what uh, what other options there are first thing you want to do you want to uh, connect your uh, program box with your PC with the uh, enclosed um, uh, uh, cable and then you open uh, the HPI Racing uh, soft, uh, uh, website sorry, and uh, get this software. You just download it to your PC, uh, install the software and you're done. You've got the software uh, yeah, ready, to, ready to go. Okay, so when you open your um, software on your PC, you see, this, you see this screen right now, I've got my uh, RC off, uh, but the cable mm, connected to the box and my PC, and right now I'm gonna turn it on, I'm turning this ESC on, and you see it'll, uh, it'll just pop up, and uh, yeah, you can do your settings right now. And you've got this uh, off-road, on-road uh, mode, and you've got also the low um, power mode here to uh, to change. I'm just gonna quickly uh, run through these. We've got uh, yeah, these are the modes that we've see already seen on the box itself without uh, engaging the uh, PC. So uh, that's it. Here you've got the advanced uh, settings. Uh, some of the options you've already uh, seen, and uh, some other options as well. Uh, you've got the timing uh, setup uh, here. As uh, you can, yeah, you can just uh, read it on the right what what the timing um, means. Uh, so I think I would just need to uh, set it to different settings and then check how the uh, how the truck drives. And uh, yeah, that's it. And here you've got the firmware update. Uh, update. Now you can see I've got the uh, ending with four to seven firmware, and that there is uh, nothing to be updated. But as uh, I previously, because I've already upgraded, um, the whole procedure is really simple. You just uh, uh, click in here, you press uh, uh, upgrade, and uh, well, right now it's upgrading. So uh, yeah, you just do uh, this. Uh, if you got if you got the uh, internet uh, access, it'll just uh, do it uh, uh, automatically. We can run through this process as I've already clicked, and we'll wait. Uh, till the end it takes just a minute or maybe two minutes and that's it okay uh. so right now we are upgrading to already upgraded version but that's the way you do it Okay, we've got success. Nice to see that. And that's it. Uh, then you've got uh, then you've got some options, so you can just uh, send the settings to the ESC. Another success, which is nice. And that's it. And it's also uh, that's it for now with this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think this uh, little device which we uh, tested today very useful, very handy, uh, much better to you know program the settings with this one uh, than with you know hearing to the beeps or uh, looking for the uh, LED flashes. Uh, uh, I don't really like that. This one is pretty cool, and uh, yeah. Actually, you only need your PC if you want to upgrade your firmware and for other uh, mm, useful settings. You, yeah, you just uh, stick with uh, uh, just plugging, uh, plugging, and then uh, into your ESC. So, uh, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.
and uh, put your thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe to see my other videos check out uh, check them out and uh, see you in the next materials bye bye